The time is finally here. Four new shades of direct dye and superpower and vibrant pastel and guy tag my daddy. I want to introduce to you the new shade Night Warrior. So this is black direct dye and I love the name Night Warrior because it's fierce. You can add this into any of your formulas to give it depth and a shadow so that way you can wheel it on back. You can mix it into any of the superpower colors to create a shadow root. And this is what we've been needing because sometimes I want to create a shadow root and we have to like juggle around and mix different formulas. But finally, with Night Warrior, you can add this in to smoke out, deepen, darken, and also create that shadow root. Or if you want to create like a deep forest green or a blue black, now you can with the Night Warrior. Titanium shield. This shade is everything. It creates the perfect silver color. As you can see here, I can create the swatch so you can see what the tone looks like on the level 10. Uh, and you can see here, when you add sheer power to it, it's the same formula. You create the perfect light silver. Sheer power is like a clear, so when you add it in, you can shear it out to create different tonalities. Look how amazing the titanium shield is. We've been needing this for a long time to create a silver and direct dye, so you get to be creative. I also love mixing like the lavenders and pinks into it to create different smoky shades of like a silvers. This is Heartbreaker, this is Loverboy, and this is in the Vibrant Pastel Direct Dye series. And they're all intermixable with the superpowers in the current Vibrant Pastel. I love it because this one has like this romantic tone to it, the Heartbreaker, and this one gives that nude-like reflection. So you have a rose gold and direct dye now, and several different like tones. Like you could go from a cooler shade of rose gold to a warmer shade of rose gold and you can add sheer power to it to shear them out if you need to and you get to intermix them with any of the pink like pink possession or pink diamond to create different variations and even cosmic coral as well but this is going to be my mannequin our friend here she's about a level nine and a half it's almost platinum level 10. this is perfect canvas you either be a nine and a half or ten sometimes pastel can go on a nine you know combined with the underlying pigments so in the swatch book that you get here this is what the swatch book looks like. It's available on mydannycolor.com. You need it. It has all the pages, all the stories you need in the swatch book, right? You get this underlying pigment swatch page here. This page is everything because it talks about the underlying pigment and all of the colors in the Guy Tang My Dandy, but also it has all the swatches so you can see what level you have been lifted to. So if you're using Magnemate or Big Nine and you line the hair, it goes through the stages of red orange, gold, you know, this pale yellow to platinum white, you know, blonde. And sometimes we don't know what level they're, they're at. So you always lay this underlying pigment swatch page next to their hair. And you can clearly see when you're looking that it's not at a level nine, but yet it's not at a level 10, it's in between, right? So it's a nine and a half, which is perfect. This is gonna give us that canvas so the pastel can really pop on the hair. You see here, these are the vibrant pastels. So we added the addition of Heartbreaker and Loveaboy. So now you have more shades here. And also you have the Superpower series in these two pages. They're all intermixable, it's so much fun. You get to have so much fun with these colors because they're direct dye. They're like paint. What you see is what you get. A heartbreaker, love a boy. You can see right there when you get right on in. Look how romantic those shades are. It's fleshy, it's soft. The superpower shades of Titanium Shield and Night Warrior will be in the Superpower box, and then the Heartbreaker and Loveaboard will be in the Vibrant Pastel box. They're all direct dyes, so they're all intermixable. You can be creative with it. And I want you to see the difference between the tones of Charcoal versus Titanium Shield. So I'm gonna lift up the bowl here. You can see Charcoal has more of a gun metal appearance, right? The Titanium Shield has more of a silver-like reflection. It has a little bit of that violet undertone to cancel the yellow, which is amazing. I also put Night Warrior 
a squirt of it into the titanium shield formula so you can see what the night warrior looks like when it squeezes out the tube it's a little bit blacker i'm going to mix it to create more of a shadow routage right on the scalp and you can see the beauty of heartbreaker when it squeezes out the tube it's so beautiful so romantic it has that intimate feel that i love it's not like you know you, you see like when you squeeze out most direct dyes, it could be like super pink or super purple. But what you're seeing with Heartbreaker is it has that powder-like finish that makes it very soft and iridescent. And then you have Loverboy. It has also an intimate nude naked feel to it that's going to give you that rose gold reflection. And they're all intermixable. So this is charcoal. This is titanium shield. This is titanium shield with sheer power. So you can see the difference in the tonality. There's so many different tones of gray, you can intermix them to create different things. Charcoal has more of that smoke out gunmetal gray. It's great for muting, it's pastel as well. And then you have that titanium shield, which has a little bit of that iridescence, that silver, a little soft violet dust to it. So it cancels the yellow that's naturally found in the hair. So you can intermix it, be creative, but you see how each tone is different. And then you can add sheer power to lighten the tones so you get more of an icy white snow like silver. There's a huge contrast between Night Warrior. So when you look at Night Warrior, you can see clearly here Night Warrior is really black, like a deep shadow. And then Charcoal is more smoky. So the depth of the tone is completely different. And yes, you can intermix them to create more depth and in-between tone. So this is Loverboy. I'm just gonna tap it on the board. So you can see how pastel that tone is. Look at that. You can clearly see here, look how beautiful lover boy is who doesn't want that shade it's gorgeous right now i'm gonna paint on heartbreaker look at that color oh my gosh it's so beautiful so romantic and soft as you can see is definitely pastel so sometimes when we look at the bowl we look at the full cream of the color and we need to really swipe it on to really see how soft these colors are it's titanium shield so you get to see the tone of the silver on this board here i'm gonna put right here <gasps> look at that look at how beautiful this is gonna look so i'm gonna paint on charcoal just so you can see the difference i'm not planning to use charcoal in my formulation today but i'm gonna paint it right underneath so you can see the tonal difference right through here in, con in contrast to the titanium shield look at that color right you can see that is pure gunmetal and you do not need to pre-tone. That's the thing. Don't pre-tone the hair. I always like to have the hair bare so you get the full vibrancy of the color. Anytime you're pre-toning with an oxidative dye, you will mute the tone. If you want the tones muted, then you can pre-tone the hair, but I don't always recommend it because if you want to see it as pure to the swatch, leave the hair raw without toning, especially when you're doing like silver or charcoal color, it can turn denim or different colors because there's no background tone to support it. So we have Night Warrior and Titanium Shield in here. Now the Night Warrior is, is black, so by adding it into the Titanium Shield, it's gonna deepen the color, give it more depth and a smokier feel to it. So that way when I create the shadow root, it's not gonna be as iridescent. I'm gonna get more depth and that deposit at that scalp and that's what i want and a little bit goes a long ways okay did you see a little bit of that night warrior look what it did so this is titanium shield by itself a little bit of the night warrior look what it did it creates so much more depth right look at that difference so now i'm going to have more shadow at the scalp but if i want to leave it soft and more iridescent silver, I'll just use it by itself. Now, these are direct dye colors, so they are gentle and conditioning to the hair, but make sure to add an Olaplex. This is why I always do, especially on pre lightened hair, because anytime you lighten the hair, the hair is compromised. So Olaplex is gonna repair the bonds in the hair and always add the collagen powder in. So I added the collagen powder into all three of the formulas that are in the bowl. So the Gaitan collagen powder, it ensures that your hair feels soft, it repairs the protein, Protein and the missing collagen that's in your hair when it's been bleached and, and damage, if you will. So make sure you can use both of them together. It's gonna to save your life. People always look at the color, right, when, they, when it's applied to the hair, and they go, oh my God, why are you darkening your hair? It's not dark. <laughs> it's pastel, literally silver, just with a little squirt of Night Warrior. And remember, direct dyes, every time you wash it, it gets lighter and lighter because it's direct dye, it's staining the hair. 
So it's not scary, right? You have no commitment to it. And the best part is I also launched Striptease, which looks like this. And Striptease is a direct dye color removal. And this just came out. This is a life changer because it's conditioning, but it removes the direct dye softly and gently. Of course, with direct dye removal, you should always wait till the hair faded out and past the lies before you try to attempt to remove it right away. The color spreads so easily. I have worked with so many direct dyes in the past that could be very thick, clumpy, chunky. The cool thing about the superpower is that it spreads like butter. It just like glides right through the hair, just like that. So you don't have to work as hard and the color delivers and it delivers evenly. And that's the most beautiful thing. I love to create a triangular section in the nape. So I'll show you. It kind of goes diagonal down. So I'm creating a triangle right here and going right back down the opposite side that you have the nape being dragged down further right down here. So you get to see more of that shadow come through because our hair is naturally darker in the nape area than this up here. So by dragging a cool tone down, it allows to create contour and movement. So you can see here, remember cool tone always looks muted and warm tones always reflect. Get your shadow root formula, place it right on down and drag this formula down. Now you don't need much product, right? Less is more because the product really glides. Can you see that? That minimum amount of product just glide right through the hair effortlessly, drag it down. So you wanna drag all the shadow down, but you wanna leave enough room here for Heartbreaker and Loveaboy at the tips. So the next formula is that romantic Heartbreaker. So I'm gonna move it up to that titanium shield so there's a blurring transition, right? Use that product, glide it up so it fills in those pockets in between and it blurs and melts in seamlessly. Now you wanna keep the tips out. Okay, remember Loverboy is slightly warmer, so it's gonna reflect. So that's why Heartbreaker being a cooler tone, I'm dragging it down further, and I'm leaving the tips out right here. So when you look, you can see I'm leaving the very blonde tips out. That's where the Loverboy is gonna pop. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of that Heartbreaker on that Titanium Shield formula, merge it through. And this is the cool part, because we're doing color on color. So we're gonna, it's like overlaying, right? Look at that, so you see how it just blends and it's gonna pop through here. What you see is what you get with direct dyes. Now this does not replace oxidative dyes in Rose Gold or the SS series. They look completely different. Direct dyes have more of an animated reflection. So your eyes pick up direct dyes differently than it does an oxidative dyes. So that's why 9RG, 7RG, 8SS, those colors have more iridescence and almost like a, um, a natural soft reflection to it. Where with direct dyes, it's a little bit more animated, so you get more of that pow. So if you want that pow, uh, what you see is what you get, direct dye that lays over the canvas of your hair, then superpower is gonna be for you. But remember, sometimes our clients want soft iridescent reflection that might be considered you know, wearable, if you will, at work. So it has a different feel and a different wear to it. So there's a place for both families. And yes, you could use them both and you could use it to overlay one on top of another. All right, so you can see here, this is Loverboy. Look how beautiful that tone is. It just looks gorgeous, right? So again, we're gonna pick the hair up on the tips. We're gonna paint it on the, those ends. Oh my God, it's so pretty, <laughs> right? Look at that. And now I could just paint the tips. As you can see how I drag the cooler tone, like Heartbreaker and Titanium Shield down further in the nape area. As I move up the head, you're gonna see me bring the level boy, the warmer tones, higher and higher up. And it's gonna be more erratic. And when I get around the money piece, I really want the lover boy to pop. This is what creates that faux balayage effect with animated colors like the superpower shades and the direct dyes. All right, so you can see here how I work the parietal. I drag the heartbreaker and, and the titanium down a little bit further, but not as far as the nape. I also tip out 
out everything with the lover boy shade which is warmer now that i've reached her money piece the face framing piece this is the piece everyone sees first you want the warmer color to pop and hug the face so you have to be very strategic how you're going to melt all three colors while dragging the cool down the cool tone down too far so i'm gonna go right here to the side now i already make sure that i apply a barrier cream so we don't get any color staining her face tap that heartbreaker onto the blonde and up into that titanium formula just merge it all in together so there is a fusion and a blend just like so and the rest of this you're going to drag that lover boy down to the ends now we're going to apply lover boy look how beautiful lover boy is these are going to be some of my most popular shades i could tell i love it already i am obsessed i know you are too just look at this everyone loves a beautiful rose nude tone right i love the naked feel of the color now if you want to do color on color you can too sometimes what i like to do is i'll get a little bit of the heartbreaker and i'll do a feathering effect right on the back surface just like that and just kind of merge it through back here because it's color on color and it works right just like so and then right down the ends just go ahead and apply the rest of that lover boy onto the hair and this is going to look gorge okay and then now i'm going to take this stretch the hair stretch this is what i love to do when i'm since i'm doing the over direction i stretch the hair and then i watch my hands watch how i move everything back as i stretch the hair i'm gonna able to make it more mobile and not only penetrate the hair further through the ends but watch i'm just gonna lay it nice and neat through the back this last section is very important i want to over direct everything to the front but we want to mimic a faux balayage so right underneath remember we did the money piece so the next section we want to bring the heartbreaker which is a cooler tone down further so that way it creates almost like a highlighted effect we're mimicking like a natural balayage on hair except we're doing it with fashion color i want you to really take a look at the heartbreaker tone now i know here it may look more violet to you right it looks more like a berry color but keep in mind the hair has a little bit of gold in it even at a level nine and a half or ten that little bit of yellow will neutralize that little violet you see it'll become more of a rosy color than you think so always think about the canvas you're applying to to give you a pre-visualization is to clip each section up so you get to see how the diagram works right so we want to pre-section everything by clipping it out the way so if this is your first time doing it sometimes the clip really helps you see the division so that way you could trace your pattern and know where you're going right so we want about six right here you got three and you always want to end with the highlight being higher in the back because keep in mind the cooler tone is right beneath it so you need the warmer tone to overlay on top of that so make sure that you create uh, six all together after the money piece so you can see right here this is the fourth and one more this will be the fifth clip clipping that out the way and then this will be the sixth clip so now you can see how we're going to do each section so low high low high low high and everything so it's going to overlay and create a dimension and while you're doing it you're going to over direct everything to the front so the first clip i'm going to take that clip out now and we are going to drag the heartbreaker lower so keep in mind the lover boy is right beneath it so this is going to create that dimension now remember what i told you it might look more berry to the eye at first and more violet because you need a little bit of that tone to cancel that gold that is naturally in hair 
So always remember that because not every hair is level 12 or 13 off the charts white. So that's why you do need a little bit of a cool reflection and you'll realize that when you rinse this off, it's not as berry as you think because of the underlying pigment does mix with it. Even when you massage it, massage the product, you could open up the hair and you can see it's a beautiful color, very rosy. And remember, rose comes in many different shades. Not all roses are warm. Some rose golds are cooler, warmer, dusty, it's all in the lighting in the environment that you're in. So now we're going to drag this down very far. And the reason why is because you want to create that depth right behind that money piece. Otherwise, the money piece won't stand out. We forget why the money piece is called the money piece because it's where it counts. And if you want to make it count, you have to create a cooler tone behind it or uh, create a darker color behind it and remember cool tones always look darker than warm tones because cool tone Absorbs light and warm tones reflect light. So keep the ends out right there Okay, because I don't like to you know switch from two colors on each section because you have to re Rewipe your gloves over and over so I'd rather do one color at a time and then go back in and trace the pattern because it's already done for you so here I am not going to go as low, right? We're just going to go like this, tap, and it's okay to tap right on that routage formula too because you do want the color to blend seamlessly. So now at this point, remember, we are not going to go as low. So we're going to keep some of it just like this, a little bit, uh, the distance. You can see where this blonde is higher, this blonde is lower right here. So we're gonna alternate section by section. All right, so you can see how I alternate the section. This is gonna go up higher. We're gonna do one more here, or two more here, and one is gonna go down lower. And the reason why this last one's gonna go up higher is because we want that warmer color to pop on top of the cooler tone beneath, right? And then we're gonna go back in with Loverboy. All right, so this back section right here, I won't drag as slow because we need that level board to be higher. So now I could just flip each section out the way and go back to the front where I started and everything's already pre-sectioned for us because the color is where we could, could trace back. All right, so we're back here to our last section and notice how I direct everything to the front. Now you can lay a mesh sheet down to protect the face. She's a mannequin and this is pastel, so I'm not worried about that, but on the actual client, you might want to lay a foil down or a mesh down on her face when you're doing this over direction. But the over direction ensure that the stretch front and when you pull it back, it's gonna blend more. So watch how I'm gonna do this again, lay it on back. And then now we could just stretch and flip everything right on back. I am so excited to reveal this beautiful hair I did. The titanium shield with Night Warrior is everything. It gives you that light absorption so the color can bounce right off of it with that Heartbreaker and Lover Boy. As I move my hands through her hair, you can see that nude soft rose gold reflection from that Lover Boy. And then the cooler rose with the Heartbreaker separates and give it that dimension. And it opens up underneath as I rake through her hair, you can see that shadow. That's what the titanium shield is so beautiful. It creates the perfect silver alone. Adding sheer power to it will make it even more like an icy white silver. The, you know, the, the options are endless with your creativity when you're using the new superpower shades. They're all intermixable. It's not only is the formulation so perfect, but the color placement I share with you makes this color look so blended. Look at it. Look at it with your eyes. Seriously, all of this animated color of direct dye, it looks believable. It looks wearable. And that's the most important thing. When your clients see this, they'll be like, oh, I didn't know you can create, you know, direct dyes and make it look so natural. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the Guy Tang My Daddy colors that you see me use today. You can go to your Cosmoprof store, Armstrong McCall store to purchase any of the colors I showed you today or mydandycolor.com come and you know give me a thumbs up subscribe and follow me on instagram facebook twitter tiktok everything clubhouse there's a lot i know but all of the links will be below and uh, tell me what you think about the colors i uh, love you much and don't forget to download my album 1981 i'm going to end this with my trailer all the links will be below to download my album as well subscribe bye